the man that was my daddy. First of all, you ain't had no business going behind my back. That's what you ain't had no business doing. So you were behind my back? Yeah. I'm grown. I'm old enough now. I feel like I got the right to do that. So I just wanted to get a test and see what is my daddy. And so you called him? Yeah, I called him. He was like, um, he thought I was his son. <laughs> so that means that. I don't, we don't see nothing funny. Nah, 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 nah. Cause Cause it, it, nah but but told see, I told you that was your dad. I, 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 first, of all, I, first of all, that is your dad. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know who you took the test with and uh, what you had going on, but that, that's your dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds good, but look. I'm just it sounds good. Nah, that's the result. The result will say what it say now. Nah. I can't hey, I can't lie, I can't fake no results. Now if you had something going on then the man that was my daddy. First of all, you ain't had no business going behind my back. That's what you ain't had no business doing. Yeah, yeah, but I just feel like I ain't had no bond with him like that. Now I knew something was up. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I wanted to go get my results and, and see what's going on. Let me tell you something. It's okay. You know, I'm, I'm old enough, I understand. Now, if you ain't, if, if my real dad ain't want to take care of me, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and See, was, some things are better left unsaid. Oh, okay. You should just left like it was. I ain't tell you, I told you that was your daddy, you should have went right on with it all these years. You 18 years old, 19 years old now. You and it's no sense trying to go behind my back and figure it out. You too old now. This is so disgusting. Your 18 year old son wants to find out whether the guy you told him was his father is really his father. He goes and get a paternity test comes to find out that ain't even his daddy he confronts you about it and your first reaction is to not take accountability for lying to your child about who his daddy was and i know some people are probably gonna say well maybe she thought that was her son's father no a lot of these girls know who their child's fathers are they just trying to avoid that accountability for picking the wrong person to sit here and say he had no right to find out who his real daddy is that's nasty work to not even have the sense to apologize to your son in which you lied to him for 18 years about who his father is you sit here and you say he went behind your back and did something that you should have done a long time ago y'all really be thinking that these kids don't know that they mama's his hoes they mama's been passed around and you sit here and think that you can hide that history from these kids like these kids can't put two and two together mom deuce was out here getting her shit off got knocked up and couldn't decide who the child father was and she basically put that child on a man who probably would have gave him the best future until that man realized this ain't my child that's the child of the man who dogged you out and then you get mad at that good man for leaving when he realized that child wasn't his child fast forward to this moment you get mad at your son for trying to figure out who his father really is because the man you put on him they didn't have a bond y'all really be thinking kids don't be knowing that the kids know a lot more than what you think they know and this is why i say paternity tests should be done at birth if they go ahead and do this day one we wouldn't have men paying child support for kids that's not theirs we also wouldn't have men sitting behind bars for not paying child support for a child that isn't even his i guarantee you if the courts were to actually look into a lot of the single mother households and how they're treating and raising their children i guarantee you they will lose custody of their kids it's, it's already a proven fact that single fathers actually do raise better kids than single mothers not all but most now I know a lot of single mothers. I came from a single mother, but I also came from a day and time where the men in the family stepped up and taught the, the, the boys how to be men. It wasn't just left on the woman to, to raise a son and a, or either a daughter by herself. This generation we're dealing with right now, when men are deciding to go, a lot of women are holding their kids hostage from that man still having that relationship with their child. And when the men push the issue on actually having their kids in their life, it's all on the stipulations of what the mother wants. So a lot of men decide, you know what, whatever. Now I'm not excusing men for leaving their kids. Not at all, not in the slightest. I feel like from day one, if you know you and this woman are not gonna be together, and y'all have a child together or kids when you decide that moment go down to the courts let them go ahead and put on paper what's allowed and what's not allowed as fathers who may not be in the same household with their kids you also have rights start exercising your rights in your child's life when you hear him say things like yeah that sound good he know his mama ain't shit the moment she sat right there and said let me tell you something and then said nothing it's nothing for her to say what she should have said she didn't say but instead she tells him 
you should have left it the way it was. What kind of response is that to a child that's trying to figure out who his other half is? The reason it's so important for people to know where they come from, because yeah, he may know his mother's side of his family, you may know all the conditions and medical histories or whatever, but say there's a situation that happened on the father's side, but you don't know who the father is. There could be medical issues that he should know about that he doesn't know about because the mother is lying about who his father really is. The bad part about this is she actually thinks she's right. She thinks it's okay to lie to her son on where he came from. This is even with proof in her hands. Any person arguing the fact that paternity tests shouldn't be done at birth is because they know they got some shit with them. It's a lack of accountability. That's their excuse whenever anything goes wrong. There's many reasons why they should do paternity tests at birth. And if I'm being honest, he's 18 years old and I know he gotta have respect for his mother still, but he's handling this situation a whole lot better than what I would do. Sometimes you gotta know when to jump off the ship with a lie. But you got some people who just so foreign to accountability they would die with the lie. They would go down with the lie if, they, if, if it means the ship's sinking. This happens more than what people realize. Anytime paternity is brought up in relationships, women take offense to it. Women don't realize on the other end, no man wants to be misled about a child that's not his and, and having so much effort and resources and time going to a child that's not your child by deceit. Now, if a guy want to take care of a kid in his own, it's not his kid, that's his choice. But to lie to him and have him thinking that this child came from his nutsack and it didn't, and and you feel some kind of way when that man want to get a blood test done so i feel people should have this conversation more if you're dealing with a person and you not yet had a child yet and you brought that to your partner and said hey i want to get a paternity test for this child anytime a man brings paternity to a woman they respond with trust or insecure they'll make you feel like oh you don't trust me and it's not a trust thing but if you making it an issue why i shouldn't get a paternity test then yeah now i don't trust you now insecurity insecure about what instead of women realizing men are simple it ain't got nothing to do with nothing else you got going on is this my child or is it not my child simple as that doesn't have anything to do with no trust just let me know and then if it is we can continue on with our life if it's not find the father it will, it will be in the best interest of society if we went ahead and pushed for those laws and those mandates to actually have paternities at birth the world's getting more dangerous every day and we don't need any more reason for people to do stupid retaliating things because they find out news like this this situation could have been a lot worse than what it was but at the end of the day hoes gonna be hoes and you can't save them